Hey, hey, beautiful babes. It's your girl, Sweet Angel. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all, if this is your first time visiting, welcome. And please do become part of the Beautiful Babe Brigade. Simply tap that subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Y'all, today we'll be experimenting a little bit here. I did mention in a previous video that we have received some azure beauty poly gels yes these poly gels are pretty cool i've seen many videos and i was definitely interested in trying them out this is the azure beauty poly gel starter kit which actually includes four poly gels and the base coat top coat and the tools needed in order to go ahead and work this out but today i'm doing it a little bit differently i'm not actually using uh, the nail extenders the or either the little um i guess you can call them like the acrylics but uh, i'm doing mine on my natural nails today so i'm just fresh at this just getting started don't really know which direction to go in so i have the instructions all laid out but I'm going to do my very best to get these on today and have a decent looking left hand. I've already done the right hand. You may have seen the previous video. I did the dip powder nails and today it's poly gel time. So right now I'm just applying the base coat down right now on all of my gel on all of my gels, on all of my nails. <laughs> so the base coat goes on first. And once I do that, I'll go ahead and cure this on the nails using uh, the lamp here, the little lamp I have here. I kinda, this was very, very liquidy. So it was running off of my nails. So I had to clean that up, but I'm going to go ahead and cure it for about 60 seconds in the lamp real quick like whether you have uv or led i think uh, led maybe 60 seconds uv probably about two minutes i'm not really sure but uh, all of the instructions are listed inside the box you get everything you need in order to do these poly gels so now I'm taking the poly gel i'm actually using every single shade in here which is all four of the colors um, that I'll have listed below but I know it was a nude a pink and um, I don't know a, a light pink something like that but I'm going to have that listed in the description for you I'm just taking the little scooper here and putting it on my nail uh, there is a um, bottle of slip solution that I purchased from Amazon I did get that. You can actually use alcohol, I believe, as well, but I wanted to try it with the slip solution. It is definitely required on this poly gel because otherwise this poly gel would be very, very sticky. I mean, really sticky, but the slip gel helps the brush to glide over and you're able to more easily maneuver it into place. You're just kind of molding it where you need it to go and shaping it up. You can actually do forms as well as um, the little acrylic uh, where you press it on. But since I have good length to my nails, I really didn't need to add any more length. So I'm just putting it on my natural nail little by little. I have the actual video sped up so that this would not take the actual two and a half hours that it actually took me so I've, I've really chopped it down to size so I, I think I brushed away too much of the um, poly gel so I added a little bit more right there near my cuticle area and I'm just pressing it in now so once I get it all lined up like I want it to be then I'll be able to go ahead and cure this under the lamp so just fixing it up and again my angles are totally messed up because you know your girl gotta get used to doing these nails on camera it's, it's kind of crazy i really just want my head all in the way but i will lower the camera next time so it can be on actually on my hand uh better so again just taking the slip gel or slip solution and uh, blending all of the poly gel into place and I had a little edge on here. I was just trying to get it off. So 
I just kind of scooped it onto a paper towel that I have to the left of me here. So is it on good? Uh, it's looking, looking pretty good. Yeah. So um, this again is a different process than the dip powder. Totally different. The dip powder to me is really easy. And this is a little bit more, you know, you really have to be uh, artistic and mold it into place and get it right. Uh, unlike the dip powder. So now again, I'm just curing it. It says LED 60 seconds and UV lamp two minutes. Now this lamp we have is kind of goes UV and LED. So I have just doing it for 60 seconds. That's all I know y'all. That's all I know. Uh, again, I'm not a nail tech or manicurist or anything of that sorts. Just a DIY kind of girl trying to see if I can make something great happen with these nails, honey. And I'm not going to show in detail every single nail. Again, this video will be hella long and you'll be asleep and, and, and ran away from me a long time ago. So I'm just showing you this one particular nail that I did and I'll speed up the rest of them and go through the process with that. So uh, I did go ahead and wipe my nails off with um, some alcohol um, and a, you can use a cotton round or I think I used maybe like a paper towel because it still felt kind of sticky to me. So once I wipe it off, then I'll be fouling it and putting it into shape, which I had already shaped my nails for the most part. They were already shaped, um, but I wanted to go ahead and kind of sharpen that um, coffin shape up a little bit more than I had it. So that's what I'm doing here. And I think I did for the very first time in trying this, I think I did a pretty good job. The next time I'll be a little bit more, you know, able to maneuver a little bit better. I don't think I'll record another video using this. I think the next thing I'll be doing is kind of showing y'all in detail a little bit about um, adding the bling to the nails, the rhinestones and all of that. So um, that's something that I've been trying. I actually did it in this video as well, but I really didn't go into much detail about it. And I didn't have any rhinestone glue, which I currently do have now. And now I'm applying the top coat. Um, the top coat, base coat, again, all of the poly gels and the brush uh, that's needed to um, apply the poly gel came in the kit and uh, now I'm curing it and that nail will be finished. Now if you're new to poly gel or careless like me, I recommend doing one nail at a time because putting the poly gel on every single nail and trying to cure them all at the same time, chances are you're going to get that nail messed up. So I just wouldn't do that. So I did apply a second layer of the top coat to my nails and I'm curing it now and uh, that'll really secure it. I just, you know, I, I just like to make sure I have enough top coat on there to keep it shiny, keep it looking good and, uh, you know, just for that extra support on these natural nails of mine. So, so that one is finished and I'm just taking a cotton round with some alcohol on it and going ahead and wiping it off. And now I'm getting to the other nails. Now this process here is going to go very fast. I am not going to show the entire, every other, you know, nail that I did. Uh, just, you'll be seeing me do it, but I've sped it up like 10 times as much. But uh, this kit, again, I will have it listed in the description box in case you want to try this out. Uh, again, it's not hard, but it does take a little bit more time in making sure you have it laid properly before you cure it. So I'm just taking my time in doing that. Uh, at least that's what I did before I sped it up. But it's going rather fast now. So you're actually going to see me uh, with uh, pretty much the entire hand done. This is all of the nails. As I said, I tried out every single color they had in here, all four, 
and uh, wanted to see how they laid, what they looked like. I think the next time I do them though, I'm actually going to polish them with, with some gel nail polish, uh, but I'm going to use the poly gel for the structure and the base for the poly, the actual gel that I'm gonna put on. And now, after I finish all of the curing on the nails, y'all, your girl decided to try some bling. I'm gonna put a little bling on here. And these are actually uh, some crystals I had from using uh, them on my costumes and stage wear. So, just gonna bling it up. I think I'm just going to use, I think I used, yeah, clear on every hand. Um, and just did a different kind of a style on each one. So let's get started with that. Um, I'm going to try to bring it up a little closer so you can see me apply these in just a moment here. I'm just trying to outline to see where I want to put them first. And then I'll try to bring y'all in a little closer to my hands without it being distorted. So there we go. Now I'm just applying my little crystals here with some the top gel polish that's it uh didn't have any glue on this one so they don't really stay or last for long without the actual glue so that's you know, i'm just trying it out and uh little by little so i tried it with my pinky and i'm like oh, okay that looks good so once you put it on with the top coat which is a gel polish you then have to cure it in the nail lamp so i'm going to do that in just a moment here and uh, see what it looks like so then i went ahead and took some of that top coat and put it around the crystals to keep them on i think some people call them crystals some call them rhinestones um, I interchange the two so I'll say crystals this video okay so now I'm curing that extra top coat that I put around those on my pinky and let's carry on to the next so this part is going to be extra sped up and uh, just applying the crystals and uh, setting them in um, with the gel lamp and uh, very sped up like completely I wish I could do this fast I would be definitely uh, you know rich by now <laughs> yes but I love again doing my nails and I'm just taking the alcohol cotton round and wiping it down so I can get that stickiness off of the top coat there so I put a different design on each one of my nails and um, as I said earlier I did not have the glue I did not have the right little stone picker up thing, but I do have, and I did order me a kit uh, from Amazon, so I do have it now. And I'll try it out and see if that works easier and better than the process I'm doing right now. I'm just picking them up with the tweezers and occasionally these little crystals just slip right out of the tweezers, you know, so it was kind of hard working with them, but you no. Know, I made it happen. I made it happen. All right, moving right along. Hey, I'm almost finished. I am next uh, on the next to the last finger here. I think I just have to do my thumb after this one. And uh, it won't take long. We're going to get it done. Bam, just like that. I love it. I'm just picking up the crystals that I took out and putting them back into the container and uh, that'll take care of all of that and then I'll be able to wipe them down honey yes and I'll be finished just trying to let y'all see the process because your girl is going to be forever doing these fingernails okay now my feet I might get some pampering on those but these fingernails I'm gonna handle them that that's my thing I can do that and now y'all I'm just cleaning up my mess and putting my cuticle oil on.
all right beautiful babes this is it this is the azure beauty poly gel kit that we received i just finished my nails yes this is the finished look and girl i love it i'm telling you i'm not a professional nail technician but i tell you what i am loving this little process in learning and i love it that i can bling up my nails and be looking all flashy and dashy and bougie and stuff fake bougie <laughs> but honey i am so thrilled at how these turned out look at there look at the bling honey did y'all see me apply that stuff girl i love it but anywho, I just wanted to show y'all that I actually did use this Azure Beauty Poly Nail Gel Kit. I did an unboxing on it a little over a week ago, and I decided to say, well, all I can do is try. And there you go. This is how it rolls, baby. I love it. I love it. There you go. Y'all take care, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you always drop me a comment. If nothing else, drop me some hearts down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you'll be notified the next time we got a banger for you. And please share me with your world. I will see you on the next video. Bye.